Hi there, welcome back to my channel once again. This is Shroth from Art of Presentations. I'm the guy behind this channel and the associated website, artofpresentations.com. Today, I've got a very interesting video planned for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you how to add a timer in your Google Slides presentations. That's right, I'm gonna be sharing with you two different methods of inserting a timer on your Google Slides presentation. The first method involves adding a video. It's a very common method but I'm gonna be sharing with you pro tips on how you can make sure that the video actually looks like it's part of your presentation rather than just looking like a video. So make sure that you stick around for that. And then in the second method, I'm gonna show you how you can customize the timer that you add to your Google Slides, customize the fonts, customize the way it looks, customize the time that you want to add to your timer and much more. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. with this video just wanted to let you know that I've actually documented every single thing that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video in an article on my website that way you don't really need to worry about taking notes or scrubbing through the video back and forth all you got to do is just focus your attention and pay full attention to this video you can refer to the notes by quickly firing up Google so just type in out of presentations dot com that's the name of the website presentations with an s give some space and then you're gonna to wanna to type in the topic of the video today, that is how to insert a timer in Google Slides. Press enter, the first link that appears over here, that's make sure that's outofpresentations.com, sorry, and I click on it, and this will lead you to the article that I'll be referring to in today's video. So make sure that you open this correct article, that way you can be sure that you get all the steps that I'll be showing you in this video. Now, I've actually gone ahead and opened up a presentation already so that we can save some time. So the first method of adding a timer to your presentation really involves adding a video to your Google Slides presentation. So let me just go ahead and insert a blank slide somewhere over here. I'll just insert a slide first and then go to layout over here and then change it to a blank layout. This will allow me a blank canvas to play with. Now, adding a video to your Google Slides presentation, there are a few things that you need to know. I'll actually be sharing a separate video on how to work with videos in Google Slides, and I'll leave a link in this video, either in the description or top right corner of your screen. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how to add a video very quickly using YouTube. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a three minute timer to your Google Slides presentation. So now that we have a blank slide in front of us, to add a video, to add a YouTube video, in fact, what we're gonna do is just click on insert and from the drop down, click on video. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do over here. The first thing you can do over here is just type in a three minute timer option over here directly. And this is gonna function just like a YouTube search bar. So whatever you type over here, you're gonna get a few options and you can choose a video from there. But what I like to do is slightly different. I actually open up video YouTube on a separate tab altogether and I like to search it over here. Just type in the specific amount of time that you want for the timer and just type in three minute timer for the sake of this example. What this allows you to do is it actually provides you with a bunch of different options which you know the default option over here for some reason you just don't get. So what you're gonna wanna do over here is just scroll through the options that are provided and I would recommend going against any of the timers that have a colorful background. For now, just think about a video that will actually have a blank background like so, either a black background or even a white background for that matter, is gonna work just fine. Another thing that you would wanna note is that you wanna make sure that the video over here is of, if it's a three minute timer that you're looking for, make sure that the video is approximately about three minutes you don't want to go over the video, which sometimes can be, you know, a, a two hour or a three hour video. So this is a three minute interval timer, which actually has about two hours of video content over here. We don't want that. Just be very sure about the timing that you're using for the video as well. Now let's just click on one of these videos. I'm just gonna go over the white background over here and it is already functioning like a timer. This is exactly what we want. So what we're gonna do is just copy this link over here and go back to our Google Slides presentation over here just type in or just paste it over here using control V or command V on Mac and then hit search and this is going to show you the video which you're going to want to add to your presentation now click on it 
to select it and then click on select and this will add the video to your Google Slides. Now, as you can see, this actually looks like a video. Anybody, if you, if you just want to put it like this on your presentation, it, anybody is going to make out that it is not a timer. It's actually a video. So, so here's what you're going to do. First, zoom out using control minus, control shift minus on Windows or command shift, command option minus on, on Mac. And then just make sure that you position it such that it is outside the slide and then press the shift key on your keyboard and then drag it from one of your corners to expand it beyond the slide like so as you can see this is the slide right here you have the white limit of the video which is outside the slide over here we just need to expand it slightly more so let's just go with something like this and a little more so now you can see this white part is actually outside the slide on both the sides now all you need to do is just align it perfectly in the center perfect and now all you got to do is just hit on slideshow and as you can see the video actually works perfectly like a timer and the audience is not going to make out whether it is a youtube video or a video on your on in your google slides presentation it actually looks just like a timer now obviously you can also go with a black background a video with a black background that we saw so let me just go back to our youtube uh, list that we searched you can also go with something like so so I'm just gonna click on this and if you like to go with a black background just copy this video over here again I'm just gonna go back to the slide and insert a blank layout and now I'm gonna just paste sorry I'm just gonna ins go back to the insert tab click on videos and here I'm just gonna remove that and paste the link of this new video click on it and add it to the slide like so just like before now we're going to just make it full screen we don't need to make it go beyond the screen size necessarily but we do need to make sure that it is at least covering the full screen make sure that the video fits the slide perfectly now, as you can see there's still some white background left on the video now you you can easily make out that it's, it's still not a timer it's actually a video now this is a pro tip that i'm going to be sharing with you what you're going to want to do is insert a rectangle shape just go to insert and click on shapes and choose a shape from here and just highlight the shape right so right click on it and click on order and send to back just resize it in a manner that it fits exactly the slide size now as you can see it is still not the same color and here we can remove the the outline to remove it we can just make it transparent and to remove the color or change the color what you're going to want to do is just make it black and if you're not getting the exact color you will need to use an eyedropper tool now i'm going to make a separate video on using eyedropper tools in google slide because it doesn't provide you by default uh, for now what you could do is you could use a, a tool like digital color meter which is available both on mac or windows the reason I like this tool really a lot is because all you need to do is just hover over the, the video and it's going to show you the RGB values, which as I saw, it was 1.0.0. Go to google.com and type in RGB to hex. And all you got to do over here is just type in the color over here. It's going to be 1, 0, 0. And this will give you the hex code over here copy it over here just click on this button once you see this check mark you know that has been copied go back to the presentation now make sure that you've selected the shape over here click on the shape and create a custom color and paste the hex code right over here just make sure that you highlight it and paste the hex code and click on ok this will change the color of the shape and this will now actually match exactly with the background of this video over here now when you make it in a slideshow mode as you can see this is actually going to look exactly like a timer on your presentation now bear in mind that i actually have these aspects open over here you don't you won't see that in your slides so you will be able to see a very good looking uh, timer on your google slide so this is the first method of inserting a timer in your google slides presentation now there are a couple of drawbacks with this method the first drawback is that 
you need to be connected to the internet when you're delivering the presentation whenever you're using this timer so if you're not connected to the internet this timer is not going to work because it needs it's a video from a youtube source and uh, you could mitigate that by downloading the video using one of the softwares which are available on google but you'll still need to upload it and that's a bit of a cumbersome process now the biggest drawback is that you cannot customize the fonts you cannot customize the way it looks it is great to get the job done but it does not provide you with the kind of flexibility that you would look for in a timer in google slides and this is where the second method comes in handy the second method to add a timer on your google slides presentation is by using an extension a chrome extension rather called slides timer now i will again share the link for this chrome extension also in the description below make sure that you check the description once you click on the link that i've shared with you in the description below for slides timer let me just remove it from my browser as you can see it's going to ask you to add to chrome click on it it's going to ask you whether you can it can access the email address just click on add extension go through the steps that is going to ask you to do and as you can see the slides timer extension has now been installed now if you're not able to see it over here all you got to do is just click on this button over here extensions and search for slides timer and make sure you pin it to the toolbar as soon as you do that this timer icon is going to be added over here now when you come back as you might have noticed over here when you're open if you have another tab open anywhere you know this is not going to show yellow in color it's just going to look like grayed out but when you go to your Google Slides, it's actually going to show as if it's converted. It, it's going to be in a yellow color, which basically means it's now active. So once you've added the extension, you can click on this extension and it will show you the instructions on how you can use uh, the extension. It'll provide you with all the details that you need to use. And what you're going to do is just use this code. This will allow you to use the countdown timer starting at five minutes. So just come to the tab right here, click on insert and just type in this code from where we copied it from there into the text box now you can center line it you can actually change the fonts we'll come to that in a moment but for now let's just look at the the timer and how it's going to work so what we want to do is just click on slideshow and as you can see the five minute timer is now working in a reverse order it is actually functioning just like a countdown timer and it starts right at the five minute moment you can actually change this can make it a three minute timer you can even make it you can make the fonts bold you can change the size you can change it to about say 36 or more say we go with a 60 font size because why not and as you can see the timer actually starts at three minutes now there are a few things that i can you can actually play around with it there are other options that it also provides in case you want to count up rather than count down you can also use the plus sign instead of the minus sign and it'll start counting up you can also display a time option you can or you also have an option for the date which will display the current date and a bunch of different options that you are provided with so all the things that you can all the instructions that you need are going to be provided just by clicking on this extension in the slides timer extension rather in your toolbar like so so I'm just going to show you one more thing over here in case you want a count up timer. So for example, you're having a quiz or a question um, that you want your students to answer. So all you got to do is just change this minus to plus. And now let's say we want to start it at zero. So you just make it to zero. And now when we click on slideshow, this is going to start from zero and it's going to start, start counting up rather than counting down. So there you have it, a very helpful tutorial. I hope if you've liked the content, if you've learned how to use a countdown timer in your Google Slides presentation, give it a thumbs up, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to this channel if this is the kind of content that you like watching. And I'll see you in my next video.